needs to find a nice length early on. Three slips to gully. Got a short leg. Right away, and they're away. Western Australia in the Sheffield Shield final. Well, this is day one from the Wacker ground. Oh, and it's a leg stump and a couple there for Whiteman at least. It's very quick at the Wacker. There's value for runs, no doubt about it. It's the longest part of the ground. It should come back to three. Good shot. Don't even worry about it. That's a good one to get off the mark for Darcy Short. Those eight deliveries. Just right out of the middle. After day one. Like that. That's a good shot as well. We've seen it a couple of times from Gabe Bell. He's just erred on that leg stump. He's been put away nicely from Sam Whiteman. In Western Australia. Another nice shot. G. Whiteman looks good. Another boundary for him. Another one down the ground. So some good batting from Whiteman and also Darcy Short as well. Value for runs at the Wacker. Yeah. Down the ground, another shot. Well, he's hit two boundaries and they've both been like that. Darcy Short. So release the pressure there, Gay Bell. And so WA. Another full one from Meredith and punched. Forward of point, races away for another boundary. Yeah, too full again there, and uh, Whiteman, he's in too good a form to miss out on that. Just lent on that again. and that, So spell to spell, you're a lot more consistent. That's full, that's punched down the ground, that's four for Whiteman. Got him on the training paddock, did he? A little bit of extra uh, cardio work. Good shot from Short, out through the offside. Be the 50 partnership for Western Australia. Will it make the rope? It will, so good batting from Short, dropped in this over. WA, 50 on the ball without loss. On the edge and over the top, down to the boundary for four. So another little bit of luck there for Darcy Short, but if you're going to swing, swing hard. And uh, he moves along to 24. WA now up to none for 56. First one, he's dropped short, Freeman, and he's punished by Short. And it just gets to the rope. And that's another vet and that's another advantage of rotating the strike. Oh, and that wasn't convincing from short, but he'll get a boundary. It's a good one from Meredith. Uppish and well played by Whiteman. Knowing there's no one out there. Sending the ball on its way to the boundary. Oh, well played. This one along the ground. And it races away for the second boundary of the over. Oh, it's full. Off the toe of the bat, over the top of Gully, and that'll be a boundary for Whiteman. Not his best, but another one in the book for him as he moves too short of a half century. Yeah, very full delivery that time. And he eases it past Gully, and that'll be a boundary. So he brings up a half century, the West Australian captain. It's been a very good knock from him. 52 not out. Well played, Sam Whiteman. Toss. Gets that wider mid off. And that'll reach the boundary. Another one for Whiteman. Taking full advantage of some pretty loose bowling here at the moment. He just hasn't got it right, has he, Carlisle? From the other end to back. On the pull this time. Nicely played out backward of square leg. And that'll race away to the boundary. So short, his first boundary since lunch. Edges and through that gap again. It's a half century for Darcy Short. So he's come in for Cameron Bancroft. He's done the job. 50 to him. Edges and he's gone. So he gets the 50 and he's on his way. Sean Craig nods his head. But uh, he's done an excellent job. Bell gets the wicket, and WA lose th their first wicket in this Shield final. Sweeping is Whiteman. He utilised that well in the first session. Very well on that occasion. Catch it. Yeah. And oh. gone. Just nibbled away, and Goodwin doesn't get going. And Tassie had their second for the session. Well... <laughs> Oh, down the wicket, yeah. Hilton Cartwright, and wow. all the way. 
Gee, that's a good shot, isn't it, for a guy that's been out there for three balls. Short one again there from Freeman and dispatched by Whiteman. No one out there should get to the rope and does. So looking after the bad balls there, Sam Whiteman. Yep. Confidently done there from Whiteman, trusting what the ball was going to do off the deck. And he's hit it to the rope. Wasn't that short, was it? Just got in. You can, you can come through one day cricket. Neatly tucked away there from Whiteman. Just waiting on that short one from Freeman. And it goes all the way. Good shot. Gee, it's quick outfit here at the whack. It always has been. Oh, using his feet cut, right? And he slams it back down the ground. A little half chance. It was in the air for a while, but... Oh, short and sent. Hilton Cartwright doesn't need too many invitations to hit the ball hard. Full up, punch back down the ground, good looking shot. Seen that shot played over the years a lot at the Wacker. And the result, mm. another boundary. We saw that with the opening spell of Riley Meredith to Whiteman and to Darcy Short, just bowling those half volleys. By, by Webster, he's going to catch. That's oh. through the covers, Cartwright. Power from start to his innings continues. Up to 30, another boundary for him. Yeah, it was up a sleep. I reckon Bo Webster thought he might have had him there, caught it cover, but... Meredith continues. Full, and he's worked that one wide to mid on. He's going to race down towards the boundary. And it'll reach it. So Whiteman into the 90s now. Looking very good for another Shield final 100. Oh, shot that is. Sam Whiteman gets the balance just right. And scoots away for another boundary. And a quick run will do it. Sam Whiteman, outstanding. He's done it once in a Shield final. He's done it again for WA. Second ton in a final and 12th overall at this level. Oh, close, close, gone. Sam Whiteman trapped in front. Oh, straight through. Straight through him. Aaron Hardy gone for a duck. Freeman, the hero for Tasmania, just before T, and they've got their fourth. Certainly they're in the game now. On the drive this time, down through mid on, that'll be four. You don't want to bowl there to Josh Inglis at the Wacker. He'll put you away. He certainly will. Too full there. And, ooh, was that half a chance at Gully? It's off the hand, perhaps, down to the boundary for four. Charlie Wakeham in there at Gully. It was the drive nicely played out through the offside another boundary for Hilton Cartwright facing Jared Freeman he moves into the 40s on the cart and this time he's caught in the gully Waker makes no mistake this time and WA now five down edges and through the gap down to the boundary for four so he's off the mark in shield cricket could have easily been out Oh, toss. Oh, dear. He's put that away. Over mid-wicket. That might go all the way. It has. Up onto the mound. So, six to Connolly. And he's ten off, too. On the drive. A little bit up-ish, but finds the gap out through extra cover. And Bell won't get there. So, four more to Cooper Connolly. Oh, in the slot again. He's put that away. Class shot this time. So two fours in three balls for this young Tyro. Cooper Connolly's off to a ripping start here. Tasmania. Oh. oh, clean hit again from Connolly, who is not mucking around all the way. Yeah, wow. That's uh, the Shield Cricket thing's not difficult, is it? And that should be it. They'll come back for a couple, and Hilton Cartwright has his 26th half century for WA. In the air, has he got enough of it? No. Cartwright falls. WA lose their six, and it's a big one. Took on BJ's mob. Oh, bowled him, knocked him over. So the change to off spin has worked, and Joel Paris. That's Could not be out. swinging at the pads oh. over the top of Jared Freeman, who is going down to fine leg for a rest. And taken. Third slip. Beautifully bowled. Last ball of the day. 
Well played by Gannon. You'll get at least one out there to the deep man on the coming in from square league. You'll get a couple. So that's good batting. And the day comes to an end. Eight for 325. Good little partnership here at the end of the day.